Okay, y'all, so happened. Periscope done logged us out, y'all. <laughs> I think it's because they were we was it was getting so good and they didn't like it. <laughs> so it was it was the devil. My husband calls him uh the most low. The most low. <laughs> they didn't, somebody at Periscope didn't like what we was talking. Well, here comes smoke. Yeah. He called him the most low. So we worshiped the most high and then he said the most low we don't, you know. Yeah. Okay, anyway, <laughs> the most low. The most That's low. what he called him. He doesn't call Satan. Instead of Satan, he said the most low. Um, he said that on the Skype one, our Uber with uh, Tori and her husband. So, um, okay. So, picking off where we left off and then we'll close out. Is, remember, I, I, I tell us to ladies all the time, protect your womb because who you choose, you know, you, you, it is, you, it's going to be you who choose, who births the nation, who will father the nations you birth. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we have some for men too. You know, men, it's, it's going to be you who you choose to carry your seed forth and birth those nations. Right. She's going to be the mother of your children. So if you pick thought Annie. Walking. Okay, started walking. <laughs> yeah, it's going, that's cool. If, man, if you choose thought Annie, you just remember those are the going to be the mother of your children. Mm -hmm. If you want, if you want value being in control of your sexual decision and you choose thought Annie. Mm -hmm. then, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's that's y'all. By the way, my children's mother made a great choice in choosing me. All my children are from marriage. Amen. Sintel, why Sintel look different? Thought Annie and Thug. <laughs> I know, oh. right? That was some. Y'all don't look. We don't want them to get married. <laughs> she said Thug might and Thought Annie belong here. Yeah. No, they don't. They don't need to be birthing those children. They gonna be birth. They gonna remember. <laughs> we gonna birth nations. What kind of nations would Thought Annie and Thug Mike birth together? A thug nation. <laughs> thug Thought Nation. <laughs> they go get saved. We're going to pray them there. We're going to yeah. pray them there. They need they to. Definitely pray on them. <laughs> definitely pray on them. So protect your womb, ladies. You have the choice. You, They can get delivered. Yes, they can. They can get delivered. You have the choice. Make good sexual decisions. Learn mm -hmm. about sex while you're single. You know it creates birth. And we did a status on Facebook. Y'all, if y'all are on Facebook and active on Facebook, our page on Facebook is um, Be Truly Faithful. Y'all can find us there. Periscope been taking up all our time. So we have yeah. mercy on mine. So, but yeah, you want to remember that because there's even a scripture that talks about um, don't just go out having, you know, when they translate it, don't just go out having sex with anyone. Uh, why have children with someone who's not, in other words, they're not going to be all in your same household. That's very hard. Right. Uh, we talk to too many people that have to share households with their children. It's very hard. So you want to make a, um, the right decision while you're single. Protect um, your decision. Make good sexual decisions. So learn about sex while you're single. Value being in control of your sexual decision, decision and honor your body. Mm -hmm. The three things singles can do before they ever find a mate. Sex is like a seed that produces a product called a baby. Yes. A baby that you want to have. Uh, daddy and mommy. I mm -hmm. couldn't do this by myself, y'all. I couldn't do it. You know, we do this together. We raise our children together. So this, what even when I'm holding, this is a nation I birth mm -hmm. with my husband. This is one of our nations. This is part of the nations that we birth. So that's five. In, in Bible days, they had 12 tribes. We got five. Yeah. Okay, so we got two sons and then three daughters, but still that's five. They're, they're going to go and, and from what we hope and pray they do is to grow up and, and you know, repl I mean, uh, multiply. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm being tired. fruitful and multiply. <laughs> Replenish the earth. Yeah, seven more to go. No, seven more to go where? For who? Sentinel trying to get us, give us disciples. I am safe to say on Periscope, we done. <laughs> We good. <laughs> Zentel trying to give us disciples. He's trying to heal. We got five. That's good enough. But, okay, we ain't going to keep holding y'all because we don't want <laughs> to cut off no more. So, we hope that y'all got the gist. <laughs> she said, not today. <laughs> we hope y'all got the gist of what we're saying while you're single, especially you talk to someone who's engaged. If you're engaged, you can learn with the person you are engaged to. Engaged to. Y'all can learn about sex. You all want to be like Jesus. We like Jesus already. So... <laughs> <laughs> we um y'all learn about sex while you're single value being in control of your sexual decisions honor your body if you are married 
You need to get with somebody. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. If you're married, Thanks quickly, you need to find a couple who know what they're talking about when it comes to sex that can help. It's going to be hard for the husbands. I can tell you right now, it was hard for my husband. Yeah. <laughs> we love you guys too. But just be humble. Talk to your husband. Say, let's get with such and such or whoever it is at your church or whatever that ain't, a, ain't afraid to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. I a couple, whatever, to help y'all sexually. Because I'm telling y'all, y'all need to be having sex, y'all. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I'm not saying y'all mm -hmm. need to be producing children every five minutes. I'm just saying that sex is beautiful. Sex is a mm -hmm. gift. And when you partake of it and you come into your glory, both of you all, because it ain't over until both of you come into your glory mm -hmm. and you partake of that, I'm telling you, it will bring you close, a closeness that is missing from many marriages today. This is one thing that can help cut down on adultery, all kinds of adultery, look of the eye and physical adultery. It can cut down on um, a lot of problems that you have in marriage. There's been times my husband and I was so upset at each other, sex fixed it all. Yeah. You know how people say Jesus paid it all? Well, sex fixed it all. I can't yeah. even remember what we was mad about. The sex just took us to another place. It was like, mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. That's all we said after that. And yeah. we was fine. I'm serious. Now, I'm not saying it fixed everything, but I'm saying there are times it's been as it's done that. Yeah, so, it, just, it just took every, just took all the pain away. Wouldn't it be nice if you marry a couple, you, you have problems, you go through problems, you have sex, it pay your bills and stuff? <laughs> Boy, wouldn't that be some? When he start, I'm telling my wife it's a cure it all. <laughs> it's a cure all, yes sir, yes sir. It is, y'all. We are gonna say this last thing. We get out of here. When my husband lost his job back in 2011, 2011, my husband lost his job. It's yeah. We went through horrible, horrible fine. We lost our car. We lost so many things. One of the things I did, I went to my mentors and I asked them, "What can I do?" To help my husband, his self-esteem was low. He wasn't the best, you know, and he was share he would share that. They told me I'm back. I went to prayer call. I'm glad you prayed. I'm glad you're back. We're about to end it. I cut our call got cut off somehow. Yeah, it's lost connection. I was researching and my mentors told me, especially my mentor, she, uh, one of them, she lives in New York. She was like, Sex is the answer. I was like, huh? It was. She said, Sex is the answer. It is sex is tied to a man's self-esteem. You have your good sex. He going to be uplifted. I said, okay. So I started researching and I said, okay. So I was waking him up for sex. In the middle of the night, I just wake him up. You want to have sex? I, sometimes I wouldn't even act. I just get started. He'll join in. And y'all, y'all tell me we got so close during that time of despair with our finances. It brought us closer to the next phase that we, we was going to have to deal with, which came in parenting. Mm -hmm. It got us through some of the tough time. Yep, that's true. <laughs> Loud and peas and yup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ba, 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 that's true. So, y'all, it can bring you as a married couple closer together. Talk about those issues. And then don't just spend time talking about sex, married couple. Then start having it. It's too many yeah. people be praying and talking about sex, but don't want to have it. Yeah. So, I'm not trying to make this a load of scope. It's a lot we could talk about, but we hope y'all... Understand now how to be sexually responsible if you are single and even while you're married. One more thing. When you're learning about it, learn about it from a believer's perspective. Don't go to World Star Hip Hop and learn it. Don't go to all these crazy places and learn, you know, the, the, these crazy friends and mess around with everybody. Don't be yes. listening to them. Don't be listening, taking advice from comedians and Cat Williams and all them people, you know, all that crazy stuff. Learn it from some seasoned believers. Who are happily some, from, sexually married <laughs> from some older people don't get nobody been married remarried 18 eight times and all that kind of and stuff just and got have. married bingo worse yeah. i would have you with the most <laughs> right. there it is. and end up with thug mike or there, by any there i'm there telling is. you who gave you the mic <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for thug and thought. No, so we no. <laughs> So y'all thank y'all for tuning in. If y'all have any questions, you can ask us now real quick, or you can do uh hit us up at Be Truly Faithful on Twitter at Be yes. Truly Faithful or Be Truly Faithful at Yahoo.com. Who gave <laughs> who <laughs> with your baby? We did a great job. Great job. Thank keep, you. Keep Sharing keep the truth. Come, come back. We will. With your baby, um, Dewanda, are you talking about our son? Um, oh, okay, yeah, we got it. <laughs> We oh. got the typo. We got it. We got it. Got it. Okay. So, if there's no more thoughts. Thank y'all for the hearts. Thank y'all for sharing. Thank you for inviting your followers. You can still share the broadcast over his old thug thug thug. Thug. If there's no more thoughts, <laughs> we'll see y'all later. Y'all, pray thug. for us.
thug out. Pray for us. <laughs> okay. We went way over. Yeah. So a thug and a thought cut our connection. <laughs> oh, you stop it. Let me turn it off first. Thug thought disconnected us. Mm -hmm.